everyone. This is Tiffany coming to you from my humble abode right now. I'm staying in an extended stay, um, America, give the whole name, um, in a couple cities away from where I was living. And um, my ex-husband and I just needed to get away from each other. Things were not going well. And um, oh, hi, number one. How are you? They weren't going very well. So it was just made as a decision to just go ahead. Wow, it's so bright in here. I'm like, I don't know if the brightness factor could be enough. Let me check because this is blinding. Okay. Yeah, look at that backdrop. So pretty. Oh, this is a little bit grainy. Hmm. Maybe not my best idea. I don't know if there's one more light or not. I don't think there is. So I think I need to get up and put a little bit of... Um, Oh, my dog's taking a pee right there. <laughs> Good job. Okay. That should be sufficient. Yeah, it's better. It's not as grainy as it was. So what has everyone been up to? I have been gone so long, and a wonderful friend actually um, got in touch with me and was like, I haven't seen you on YouTube for forever, so um, I'm just wondering what's going on. Are you okay? And I'm like, oh, my gosh. I got sort of kicked out of the house. I'm living in this extended stay, as you can see, it's so glamorous. And um, I do have my puppy with me, which is something that's kept me sane. And today, they only clean every 14 days. Now, they say it's for the, you know, ecological, you know, things. But I think it's to save on housekeeping. What do you think? <laughs> But anyway, I um, have some stuff going on and, um, oh, news. Let's go with news. How about that? Yes, I'm still in the process of getting my divorce. My ex said you shouldn't just talk about divorce, so I get it. If you guys have any questions, concerns, you know, needs emotionally, you're getting a divorce, hey, hit me up. I understand, and I would be more than willing to chat with you about it. Um, it's hard. It's really hard because mine was a 20-year marriage, and I saw my daughter for the first time in a week yesterday, and um, I was just so pleased to see her, and it ended up being me and him talking the majority of the time, which really was a bummer. But, um, you know, we're going to move forward. And I bought my townhouse. Yes. Now, why did I want a townhouse as opposed to a small house? Well, I didn't want to have to do the gardening. I just didn't. And that's one thing that takes care of. It does have a community pool and, um, you know, it's in an area that doesn't usually get hit by the hailstorm. So that's good, too. And um, just want to say, if you haven't checked out Southern Belle, she has an awesome channel. Um, she's a wonderful person and um, I would highly recommend her to you. If you see a cute little blonde in the circle. That's her. She's very, very pretty. I shouldn't have said cute. She's pretty. So, um, anyway, 
I got that. It's three bedroom, two and a half bath. All the bedrooms are up, of course. The washer and dryer is up, though, thank heavens. And um, they dumped their washer and dryer and a refrigerator on me to take care of. So I'm having them pay the cost because I don't think that's fair at all. They just dumped the stuff there and thought, oh, she'll just get rid of it or use it. It's not usable. Who in their right mind would leave a washer and dryer that's totally functioning and a refrigerator that's totally functioning just for the next person? I don't think so. I think that it was left there because they were lazy and they didn't want to go to the dump. So, or they didn't want to pay the $30 for hauling it off. I don't know. So I have amassed um, some linens and um, things like that. Um, gosh, what do I talk about? I think my husband's having an affair. I think that's what ended our relationship was not me talking to guys on um, channels, but I think it was him falling for his French horn teacher. Yeah, a lot of good stuff there. He's lost 30 pounds. She's his guru. And I looked at pictures of her today and I could see where she is attractive. Now, for him to call me just fat and disgusting is really rude. I mean, nobody should do that, even if it's the truth. You know, you shouldn't say, gosh, you're ugly and disgusting because it sticks with you. It's like a gaping wound. Now, I have been talking to a man named Dominic in Dublin, Ireland, somewhere I've actually been. And um, I've been getting pretty serious with him. Um, we both have the need to raise our children. Um, I thought about just ditching everything and going straight to Ireland. But my therapist talked to me and said, that will hurt your daughter very, very much. And you need to stick around for her for longer so that she can get, you know, reoriented and, um, you know, just she is blaming everything on me. So we have a very poor relationship at this moment. And, um, you know, it's hard. It's hard when you have a teenager and she blames you because the marriage fell apart. When actually, I think it's her father's fault. Um, I think that I'm just collateral damage. I don't think that I did anything that was that bad. I think it was purely because he had his mind set on this other woman. And he broke up two families. So um, I just think that that's real crappy. I mean, I would not want to break up a marriage with children. You know, that's not my jam. So, um, oh, and talking about Dominic, he's like really sweet. The only problem is he said, you know, don't talk to me or don't talk about me to your friends. And I said, that's what girls do is they talk talk about their boyfriends or, you know, whatever. Because I said, are you my boyfriend now? And he said, well, I'm hoping to be a lot, lot more than that. And I was like, you know, do you realize I'm chunky? I'm not thin. And he's like, I don't care about that. And I'm like, okay, um, I've got braces on right now. You know, I am a metal detector will go off. But um, anyway, so I was telling him the head braces and I have a couple really neat friends that talk to me into the wee hours. So um, even though they're in time zones that are way different, like right now, 
for Dominic, it's 545. And he is, was going to wait, 1030? No, it's not. Oh, I'm on early. Shoot. You know what? I'm going to come back. This is terrible. I meant to come on at 1245. Dang it. I'm going to have to start all 